This is a test of the fan noise. I'm probably going to be talking about this loudly, and I want to know if you can hear the fan. Can you? The little man right there, so I look at that. It's difficult. Let me count the ways. Let me count the reasons why you should thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> I never said it and I'm not starting now. <laughs> I had a fan on and it was very pleasant and wonderful because it's a little warm, a little warm, kind of sweaty in here. Eh, but it was noisy so I turned it off. Also, I just got my hair cut today, and uh, I haven't taken a shower yet. I had taken this shirt off and I was wearing this, which is, it basically looks like a wife beater. I decided that you did not need to be blessed with that <clears throat> image. Might be more than some people could handle. I'm a considerate man sometimes. So I put the shirt back on that I had on when I got my hair cut, and now I'm just enjoying itchiness and pokey little hairs and no fan, don't say I don't love you. Anyway, it's been a while since I made a video like this. I hope you can hear me okay. <clears throat> I don't want to talk too loud because it's uh, late. And the guy over there is not asleep, but my girls are trying to sleep downstairs. Uh, I picked up a few, quite a few things actually today, which is unusual of late. Uh, and then I had a few things from over the course of the last couple weeks, I guess. And I thought I'd show them, but really these videos are more just to be like, Hi, I'm still alive! And, uh, you know, I enjoy the interaction in the comments. So, having said that, I just realized that there's something that I have not prepared. So I'll do that now, and then we'll get right into it. Apologies if this ends up being, like, stupidly long or the whole intro is too long. Anyway, jump right in. Here are some games, uh, and I'll, at some point I'll talk about other things besides games, but you know, gotta have some gamage, because I already talked too much. Here are some games that I bought, oh, you know what, I know exactly, I bought them a, a month ago, because um, every fourth Tuesday of the month I have a, a job that I do in another city, and on that day I go to the same game store. Well, I didn't go there today, but I went to a different one in a different city because I want to get my hair cut and la la. So anyway, a month ago, I bought these. This is my pickups for a month. This is like, almost like normal person level. Not really. We'll see. So I bought, eh, I think this is another copy, but I'm not sure. I haven't checked yet. Kudu Kududin for the Game Boy Advance. It was only 300 yen. I don't know how focused that is, but it's gonna be not much more focused than that. It's kind of like a puzzle platformer, I guess you could say, where you you spit a stick through a maze, and it's it's charming. Um, I don't know, I think, um, I've forgotten his name, Mark Bustler, because he's not really on YouTube now. A classic gamer, I think there's a video about this, and anyway, 300 yen. I was pretty happy about that. It says that it's in just okay shape, but come on, 300 yen. Yeah! Sorry, 300 yen, it's like $2.50 or $2.63 or something like that, I don't know. Right. For 400 yen, which is like $3.50-ish, I got Blay Blue. Uh, which one is this? Chrono Phantasm Extend. So, good fighting game. Again, I might have this, I'm not sure, but I was like, that's a, a game that I know I can enjoy on the PS4 and it's 400 yen and I'm buying it, so I bought it. Uh, if I already have it, I can put it in the other house or give it away or, you know, 400 yen, well spent. Uh, okay, here are some original Xbox games, which I don't... Ugh. I don't buy those so often. I bought one of these just because it was cheap and I, I feel like I often see it and I couldn't remember if I had it or not, but again, sorry I may say this too much, but it's it's 200 yen. So I just bought it because it was cheap. And it's pretty. This is Otogi. All right. And it's from From Software, so maybe a little bit of, actually saw a video, I think, talking about this saying that there are some 
some things that you might recognize if you're like a Dark Souls fan. I don't know. And I have some of the Dark Souls games, but I'm not a fan just simply because I haven't played them. I might love them if I do, but I don't know. I'm not really into the atmosphere that much. I like variety, like dark, and then light, and green, and then bright, and uh, I don't know. I'm more of an Uncharted guy. So, 100 yen I paid for this, and this is from the Famitsu Famicom uh, October edition from, I don't know what year, probably says on here somewhere. It's a, it's a, a Taikemba demo disc. And I paid 100 yen for a demo disc, yes I did. Here you go. Of, uh, what does this even say on it? Phantom Dust? I get excited when I see things like this because you just, you know, don't see them as often. So, yeah, 100 yen, <coughs> less than a dollar. And Xbox Live Arcade, and I don't think this will do anything if I open it and put it in my Xbox, and I probably will never find out because it's still sealed. But I thought it would, was neat to have, especially since the Xbox did not do well in Japan. <clears throat> and this is, uh, was 50 yen. Because only somebody like me would ever buy it. And I did. This last one I actually paid a, a little, like $12, I think, for, and I took a chance on it. Oh, this is interesting. Huh, okay. And because I was pretty sure, and I couldn't find it online at the time, but I was pretty sure that if I put this in my Xbox, it would play in English. And I was right. It does. So, yay. And I'm also... I, I did all the research about, like, which is the best version and all this stuff, and now I don't remember. But at the end of all my research, I was very happy with the fact that I got this. So, the problem is, is I'm not sure that I like Silent Hill games, because I don't, I don't really get it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Yeah, I don't know, as you'll see. But my tastes, you know, go like that. Okay, so um, the month of May was kind of an interesting one because, or it was very interesting because we had a 10 day national holiday in Japan, which is like has never happened because the emperors changed and so the era changed. We're now in year one of the Reiwa era. Uh, new emperor. And um, anyway, I worked basically every day. I think I had one day off, possibly two. And so the one, one time I did something fun, I went to see the, the, the newest Marvel Avengers movie with my friend, three hours, and yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. That's all I'm saying. Didn't like every scene, but whatever. It was, it was good. It was, a, it was a romp. And we went out to eat. And I don't even remember where we ate or what we ate, but it was probably chicken on a stick because that's what we tend to eat when we do go out to eat. Hmm. I think it was. So that was good, but, you know, I was... I didn't really get to take a vacation at all. And then <clears throat> I had a very rare weekend off, and I, I asked for that months in advance, because three of my friends from the U.S. came to visit, and uh, partly they were coming to visit me, partly just to visit Japan. Two of them had lived here before. We came over together in 2001. And one had never been here, and all three of them have their 40th birthday this year. I'm going to be 43 in August if I make it. And so it was, you know, it was really great to see them. Three of my best friends, I've known them for ugh, 22 years or something, and they brought boxes and boxes of books. It was awesome. Of my books that I already owned, but they were in the States. So that was so sweet. Like, they really worked at it. They brought, like, 250 pounds of books. So now I have to figure out what to do with those. I think my game room might become game room slash library like den kind of thing and i think that's good good i don't know if i'll get a chance or make a chance to do a game room tour when it's just games so we'll see i haven't decided yet they're just in piles in front of the door right now because i'm busy um what else and two two of these friends in the past two yeah two of them have given me their games like their old nintendo games they're like i'm never gonna play these and i know you collect them and we love you so here and i showed those in a video a while back um i don't remember but so, I don't know, they're just, uh, that doesn't, that's not how I judge whether someone's a good friend or not, but it just, I just was reminded of that. Like one, one gave me his Chrono Trigger and his Secret of Mana and Final Fantasy something and just, you know, some really nice Super Nintendo games. And the other one gave me a stack of NES games and his NES, which he wasn't getting to work properly, but it was just not a good connection. So really, I hope you can hear all this because my voice is getting low. And I'll try to try to drink some more energy drink. Not try. I will succeed. I will drink some more energy drink. I don't know how it's going to actually affect me. But 
So here's two strictly limited games, or strictly limited, uh, that came, I don't know, maybe two days ago. And let's see, the first I had to buy because it's a sh it's kind of a shoot 'em up, and I'm obsessive compulsive about shoot 'em ups. And at this point in my life, I'm really just kind of focused on that. And then if there's a game that I really want to play, or it's like, okay, this is so, I don't know, most of the time that's what I'm trying to stick with, but I made an exception today, as you'll see. Many, many exceptions. I still make a lot of exceptions. The point is, is I kind of have a rule now, kind of. It's very loose. So this is release number 15 from Strictly Limited Games, and I think I have been getting all of them, but I'm not trying anymore. Like, I'm, I'm over it. So this is um, Velocity at 2x. And uh, so it goes back and forth between a shooter Uh, with some interesting kind of gameplay mechanics and a kind of platformer, as you can see. I mean, it's been around for a while, so it was neat to get this physical on the Switch. And the postcard, which I have a folder that I keep these in. And then the next one that came, they both came in the same box. Usually if I order something from one of these limited companies, and there's so many of them now, it's like, it's too much to try to keep track. Um, I mean, I kind of try to keep track anyway is I try to order at least two games so it's worth paying the shipping because it doesn't, I don't think, affect it. This is the classic arcade masterpiece in high definition. Boy enjoys a day at the beach with his girlfriend Tina when suddenly a red devil appears out of nowhere and kidnaps her. Sounds like ghouls and ghosts. Anyway, hold on, Tina. <laughs> I will save you. Somebody's new adventure is about to begin. Who is that somebody? Think on that for a moment while I let the cat in. Thinking, thinking, letting the cat in. Come on, buddy. Don't meow and then don't come in. Do you want to say hi? I feel like I owe that to everyone. Say hi. Hi. Hello. You're supposed to look at the camera. Don't we look alike? Hair. Oh, uh, hair on my shirt. This, if you're a cat owner, this is an indispensable tool. The tape roller, now there's hair and ugh, hair everywhere, you probably see in the video. My wife and I have been too busy to give my proper brushing the last couple days. Anywho, whew, tangent much. Oh. Was that about, oh yeah, Wonder Boy. Just Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy Returns. All right, and this is release number 16. Neither one of them is a particularly low number, but I do like how they are numbered. I appreciate that, it's kind of neat to know. This is number, 1,000 something, and this is number 1,000 something. So yeah, still buying, you know, the limited stuff from time to time, and probably still more often than I should. Here's the postcard, which will also go in the folder. I didn't show the back, I don't think, oh, it's cute on the back. I like how, like, this one just says play stamp here, which is fine, but this one has, like, a little extra, a little extra, so that's special. And I will put them in their box. Okay, so next, um, two things about this video are perhaps related to Metal Jesus Rocks. And uh, love him or hate him, don't really care. He actually was in Japan with some of his pals just a, not long ago at all, a few days ago. But I didn't see him. He, he, forgot, to, he forgot to call me, so maybe next time. Anyway, but in an earlier video before they came over, he was talking about the Darksiders War Mastered Edition and how it had a black spine, and I love that kind of stuff. So I ordered a copy, and I got War Masters. No, I mean Darksiders with a red spine. <laughs> I, I mean, I actually do want to play this game. So, I mean, it's all right, and I'm, I want to play it on the Switch, plus this one has, like, all the all the stuff. So I'm not... I'm fine. I'm going to open it, and I'm, I'll open it right now. If you don't believe me, watch. Look. Look at that. Break the seal. Break the seal. Games are made to be played. And of course, no instruction manual, but that's just, oh, I hate that so much. There's little clips here. Put a piece of paper in there or something. Like something. It's so lonely. Like this. Or even like the back of the, you know, the insert could be something. Oh, hello. Anyway, it was not expensive, so I have a red spine. And some plastic. So yeah, here's another game. This is the Japanese one. 
and this is the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney games. One, two, three, and I, I have the same thing on the 3DS, but I got it for the Switch because I, I like to double dip, especially for Japanese games that allow you to play them in English. So yeah, and this is a great one to have on the Switch because you can obviously play it portable, but I thought it would be neat to play this on the big screen. So, and plus my wife might like this. I can't remember if she played it or not back in the day or whatever, but I, I don't know, we'll see. And I'm, there's a better chance of getting her to play it, I think, if it's on the big screen. So yeah, I was kind of happy to get that. I haven't opened this yet. Here's a game which I, I actually put on my um, channel because I wanted to play it and I hated it at first, but then I played it some more and I played it some more and I got to the point where I was like, hey, it's, it is what it is. And I, I was able to enjoy it, but I can't recommend it. Does that make sense? Uh, and that is Full Blast from Red Art Games. I had to buy it because it's a shoot 'em up. Um, and I actually did get some enjoyment out of it, but you gotta play it on the hardest mode and just kind of accept it for what it is and not go into it with much expectations. I don't understand why they put this sticker on the front. I really don't like that they put that sticker there. They could have put that sticker somewhere else, but they put it right there and I don't get it. It's, I guess they just really want you to know. I don't know. Or, or even like over here where there's nothing really happening. Why right, why right there? I don't know. So anyway, I got that. And sorry, I'm sweaty. So tempted to turn the fan on, but no, I will endure. Okay, I'm moving along at a somewhat decent pace. So yeah, so my friends came and I took them to one of my places where I work and introduced them to some people and that was kind of fun. And then as soon as that was over, got in the car, which they had rented. Now I've lived in Japan for uh, 17 years and I still don't have a Japanese license because I don't need one and I'm not motivated, but I, I should probably get one anyway. So they all came with international driver's licenses and we drove quite a lot, but I didn't ever get behind the wheel because I'm, even though I'm the one who can read the street signs and speak the language, <laughs> I was I was very much like the navigator, but it was fine, no problems. And we uh, went on a really long bike ride, 85 kilometers, like 52 miles over a bunch of bridges and it was really pretty. So there's that. If you look up like bike ride in Japan, Hiroshima, it should come up. We went from Onomichi to Imabari, but then we did a lot of like extra stuff in between. And that was good. I don't want to go into too much detail, just we had a lot of fun. And I, I was riding a mountain bike, so I had less fun than they did on their, on their road bikes. Because when the rubber met the road, there was a lot more rubber. So I just, I need more rubber. Because there's more of me. Apparently. So, yeah, good. So get out of here, cat. Moving on. I went to... Get my haircut, as I said, and so I went to a couple different game stores, which I rarely go to these days because I'm just not in the area and it's too much trouble to go out of the way and like I almost never have a day off. So, and I'm not like, you know, looking for pity. It's my choice and I like being busy, but uh, just hasn't been a priority for me these days. But so I mentioned, oh yeah, I mentioned Metal Jesus Rocks. Right? Like he showed the Dark Siders game. I was like, hey, maybe I should try to order that and uh, whatever. And then the other day, maybe yesterday, I don't know, well, there are two. I saw two of his videos showing like his game hunting in Japan with Kinsey and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, I live in Japan. I could go game hunting in Japan and I bet I could find even better deals because of, yeah, I'm a local, right? And so I did that today. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. And I, I just kept having more and more time and the longer time, the more time I had, the more I was like, oh, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Ah. And then I was like, well, I have a credit card. <laughs> mm. And I came home with this big bag of stuff tonight. Like, I thought my wife was in bed, but she was up doing something. And just as I opened the door, I was like, ah, hi, honey. <laughs> and I'm like, I kind of went like this with the bag. And I, she saw it. It's not a big deal. But, you know, I, don't, I just don't... <laughs> marriage dynamics. Next. Okay, so I'll do, do this by store, I guess. Um, there are two main stores that I go to in the Kobe area now. And uh, one of them is, they've been expanding and they've been doing really well. Uh, and that's the one I'll show last, the stuff from that store. 
what happened is I went there and I set some stuff aside, went to the other store, kind of to compare prices a bit and look at other stuff, bought some stuff there, and then I went back, the first one, but this is the one in between, it's the sandwich part. So, so there, I asked the lady there, she, she, she was working there, she quit, she came back. Way too many details in this video. But she likes me. She always gives me something special, something extra, like an extra SD card, or she'll drop the price down or whatever, because I think she's maybe the manager now, but uh, I always remember her and whatever. She's just, she's cool. Uh, but I asked her how it was affecting business now that this other place had moved in just downstairs. It's very convenient for me, because it's like haircut, game store, game store. <laughs> nice, and there's places to eat around there, so very good. Uh, yeah, really lucky, actually. She said, yeah, business has, has gone down, right? But they're still doing okay. I hope that they don't have to like close because that would suck for me, but mm, I don't know. And anyway, now they have a point card. So I bought some stuff and then I got a lot of points and then I found one other thing and I'll show you at the end of this portion of the video. I saved five buck, five bucker. So what's happening? All right. All right, well, I'm gonna show you most of this. Some of it's in a different bag. Nothing like groundbreaking here. I, and I bought this, I don't even know if I'll ever play it and I might even have it, but I bought it because I was like, ooh, looky, looky, it's a, a Western, in this case, American game at the Japanese game store. And it was like $7 and something. Pokemon Black 2, version two, it's version two. So I thought that was neato. The thing is, I'm pretty sure this, uh, the Japanese one will play in English, but I don't know, I just, I needed more. DS spines that have English on them, clearly. And I need more air. I need more energy drink. Uh, and the cat sitting behind the camera just kind of chilling, so that's good. I bought MLB The Show 12. I might even have this. I don't know, but it was like $5. And it's a Vita game, and it was a US, and I like to play a baseball game from time to time. I don't get like really into it. I just, I like it because it's, I can play one and be done. Oh, I think the other cat wants in. Let's see. Hey buddy. You want to say hi? This one likes to meow at like three in the morning. Hey, that's Kuruto. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Say bye bye. Anyway, more hair, but not as much. Yeah. What's happening next? Oh, and the next one is a DS game, which out of all these, I might've paid too much for this one, like out of everything I bought, because I paid, I think, not I think, I'm looking at the price tag right now, $15 for it, <laughs> but I, I wanted it, so I bought it. I have a, sorry, I'm just trying to get these price tags off so I can show, show it to you. Not price tags, like little, Things that say, oh, that box has some damage or whatever. And in this box, there is the Guitar Hero Guitar Grip, all new Band Hero Drum Grip, Band Hero software with vocal capabilities, exclusively for the Nintendo DS Lite. Which is interesting, right? Because there's a DS, then there's a DS Lite, there's also the DSi and the 3DS and all those. But this works on the DS Lite. Oh, buddy, that's the end of it. But that's okay, I have one or two. And there's still price tags. Anyway, uh, I just, I wanted it. I thought it would be neat to have. This has 30 chart-topping hits. Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne. Let's Get It Started by Black Eyed Peas. First Date, Blink-182, Call Me When You're Sober, Evanescence. I don't, I think if I heard these songs, I would, I predict a riot. I, I don't know. I'm old. So there's that. I recognize Under My Thumb by the Rolling Stones. Yeah. So, there you go. And I'm pretty sure I have the Guitar Hero one, or something like that, like World Tour. And I found that for $5 at the same store. I don't know why they're selling this. Actually, this was a different store, that's why. So, now I have the set, if there is such a thing. I don't know. But, anyway, it was cheaper than it would have been had I bought it new. And even if I had bought it new, it probably would have gotten played once and just sit on the shelf. Anyway, so, makes more sense for me just to wait. I should just... Uh, Get, get going. So there's those, and then one other thing which I will actually dig out, sorry. Uh, too long. I put this on my Instagram, which I occasionally remember exists, so that's good. 
focus. I don't know. Or maybe don't. Maybe it's better if it doesn't focus. I found a limited, I mean, I don't know how limited, but a special version, special edition uh, Nintendo DSi, not the big one. And so it has like theme for the game and it comes with an actual physical game and a, like a color manual and everything in, a, in a, its own box. So this is hard to read it backwards. Uh, come back. <laughs> Saga to Hiho Densetsu, Goddess of Destiny. So the, uh, the legend of the secret treasure, I guess you could say, Goddess of Destiny. And then it's an RPG, it's by Square Enix. As you probably may have, not probably, but you may have noticed. And it starts up kind of juvenile. I mean, this, I mean, I've only gotten a few minutes into it. I had to make my characters my party and stuff. But playing a J RPG, JRPG in Japanese. And it's kind of like, well, this is a pretty cool way to study Japanese. Like, yeah, kanji, the characters. This was, I don't remember if I said it right. This was 2,000 yen, 20, $20 basically. What? So I, I should open it um, to show you. <laughs> You know, it has a charge and all the stuff that it's supposed to come with, and it was pretty well taken care of. The, I think the system got some use. That's okay. Oh boy, the cat found the bags. There's some. Yeah, you can play with that. That's okay. And uh, let me quickly show this to you. I don't know why. Probably because I need to. After this video, I need to see if I can save my progress and then turn it off. It's just been in sleep mode. Um, but. I, I have a kind of dumb, ridiculous amount of 3D, no, no, well, that too. DS's of all types. Anyway, so that's this one, or this is that one, or whatever. That's all right. And you know, if I play the game and end up really liking it, I'll, I'll even love this that much more. So, it's just the cover, just the front really, that has the special ness. On the inside, it's pretty much just a black uh, DSi, but I'm a, I'm a fan, so, and these things can put out some pretty good sound, which is cool, I mean, yeah, okay, so that's all I bought, and then, as I said, I got five, basically five dollars in points, and man, I hate sweating so much, oh, hey, don't, but that's how I stay thin, because my metabolism, you know, that's why I'm so skinny, and I was about to leave, and then I thought I would have a little rifle through the sort of, not junk section, but the sort of miscellaneous uh, stuff section, basically. And I found Super Famicom Vision Controllers, and these probably suck. And there's probably really bad input lag, but I I couldn't, I just, I felt I needed them. And I'm not sure I'm, if I have this already or if I have something similar, but anyway, you get the infrared, I reckon, receiver and two controllers, so it's a whole set. And I just thought that was kind of neat. So I bought it. It cost me like $20 or more. Maybe $20 after I used my my $5 in points or something. And I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't buy this, but I did. Came with like a little manual, so that was cool. Would have been nice if it were boxed, but I have no idea what these cost. I'm sure I didn't get a great deal. Can't win them all. Whenever that happens, I'm just like, hey, supporting my local businesses and you know, brick and mortar game store. So I have all kinds of ways of justifying spending too much money on video games. I'm like a pro at that. If anyone needs help with that, like just send me a comment and I can, I can tuck you into buying those. Not really, not really, not really. I'm just saying like, I, I moving on. I saved this for last because it's the most expensive thing I bought. Yeah, I guess that's a reason, right? So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should share. Emma's almost two. That's pretty amazing. She talks all the time now, like a lot. Mostly she speaks Japanese, but she understands me when I speak like the same sort of level of English most of the time. And sometimes she'll answer in English. The other day she was sitting there and she just randomly sang the whole, like the ABCs. She's not two yet. And she sang the ABCs and she lives in Japan. I was like, oh, that's all right. I feel good about that. I think she's the biggest kid in her class class i mean like at the nursery school what else she's uh she was great with my friends when they came um yeah i'm a i'm a happy proud dad so yay yay for for that oh i don't 
don't need to show you these. Do I need to, I don't need to show these. I'm just gonna tell you that they had, this is how I got started. There were uh, CDs. I'm gonna show them really fast. CDs, uh, they had, I mean, there are any CD that was marked 480 yen or cheaper, so like $4, a little more than $4 or cheaper. If you grabbed 10 of them, you could have the whole stack for 500 yen. So again, like $4.50 or something. I don't know what the exchange is exactly, but close to that. So a lot of these are pretty random. And I'm not gonna spend time probably talking about any of them, but I'll just quickly, very, very quickly, move so quickly show them to you and they've all got the price tags some of them i know are stupid like i know they're stupid but i was paying less than 50 cents a, a cd for them so i was like sometimes it's fun to be stupid so here we go i'm the scat man I can't remember a song at the moment, but if I looked at it, I probably could. And well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have this, but now I have it again. Or I could be wrong. I might not have it. Gotta have this. Gotta have that. And I don't think I had this. So this is the one, one of the ones I was the most excited about. Boys to men stuff. This somebody put on my iPod and people were telling me that I must have a great taste in music. I don't even remember what they sound like, so I thought I would buy the CD and give it a chance. What am I looking at? Oh, Monkey Magic. It's Japanese. They're Canadians with Japanese. They play in a band here. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize when I bought this. This is kind of munted, but oh well. It's a little bit of muntage. Ex-girlfriend stole this uh, when we broke up. She, and then I, when I was like, hey, can I have my CD back? And she was like, oh, don't be such a, don't be so stingy or something like that. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I got it again. So there, huh. And I still remembered. Faithful, I like a little country music now and then to mix it up because I grew up on a farm. So it's nostalgic. Here you go. Wherever you go, whatever you I hate it when other people, now it depends on the person. When some people sing in their videos, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I said it was going to be fast. Can it be quick? Went to karaoke with my friends when they were here. That was fun. My favorite song on this album is Harvey the Wonder Hamster. If you don't know the song Harvey the Wonder Hamster, you should YouTube that after this video. I should put a link in the description. I could sing it to you right now because I know the whole thing. Ready? Harvey, Harvey. I'm not singing it. This is an Eric Clapton CD. I went to Eric Clapton concert and he didn't say anything except thank you the entire time. And like, good evening and good night. Like, literally he didn't, I guess he wasn't in the mood. <laughs> Why are you freaking out? Best of Radiohead. Uh, what's this? Arctic Monkeys. And then uh, Nirvana. So, those are the CDs that I bought today for $8, all of them. Oh, wonderful. 31 minutes. <laughs> and there's still some stuff to show here. I'll just, I guess, go in the order. I don't know. So I saw this and I thought, that is a big box PS Vita game. And I don't have that. And it's only like seven to eighteen dollars. And I have it now. It's a fighting game with lots of chicks. And it comes with an art book and a soundtrack which hadn't been opened yet and download stuff which I'm, I think is all expired. I'm sure it's all expired five years ago. Um, but yeah, I like the Dead or Alive fighting games because I don't suck at them as badly as I do at some other ones. Mm. Stop being so feline. <sighs> all right. I don't know where to put stuff. I'm running out of places to set stuff down here. Hold on a second. Make way. All right, cats. An acquaintance of mine in Hawaii, his dog of 14 years suddenly had to be put to sleep because of 
cancer, probably issues and seizures and all this stuff. And I was just reading that because it happened pretty suddenly. And, like it was hard thinking about that because I know what it's like and yeah. And the dogs, you know, dogs are different than cats. So let's leave it at that. Another Vita game. And uh, this is, I think that in that Metal Jesus video, I think he got this, I'm not 100% sure. I think he got it and he was like, yeah, and I think you can play it in English. And the these games, this series, they're pretty good about putting English on the Japanese versions. So hopefully this one has it. Yay. Okay. Cats. I don't remember that. Oh, that was $30, but then they, they have like sometimes one game that's really cheap. Okay. Uh, to, to get people to come to the store, right? And then when you, when it's gone, it's gone. And so I ended up buying that and I paid like 13. It was half price. And it's the same game. It's just they put one on sale to draw people in. I'll save this one a little bit because it's pretty special to me. Okay, so I bought this because I... I won't tell you why I bought it because that would be a spoiler alert. But I bought this. It was 500 yen. And I just thought, well, I should give that a try. So it's, it is what I just showed you, that game. Next, okay, this is a game that I've been wanting, oh, I don't know, since I found out it existed, and now it's mine. But I did not realize, because I actually, until today, had never seen one, like, in person. I'd only ever seen photos. And in fact, I wonder if there's not, I'm very confused about this, actually. I think this is supposed to play, and this is, yeah, it's, it's called U.S. Shenmue, right? So it's a, a Japanese Dreamcast compatible U.S. Shenmue, so everything's, you know, English or whatever. It's the, I think it's exactly the same game that was released in the U.S., but they just made it compatible with the Japanese one. But the thing is, you open it up, and it, so it has some of the Japanese stuff, right, that came with the games. But the manual, I believe, I didn't take a ton of time looking at it, Besides having the U.S. thing on it, it's like exactly the same. And actually, my U.S. Dreamcast is not happy right now. Like, it died and I changed the laser and then still doesn't want to work very well. I saw a little Japanese there, but I think, I think maybe this manual is pretty much the same as the American one. I don't know. It's all in English and that, that really surprised me. So, um... Yeah, that's neat though, because it's easy for me to play games that are for Japanese Dreamcast much easier than American ones without doing like a swap, disc swap or something. So anyway, and I paid, I think 20, oh, that's right. I got them to mark it down. So I don't remember what it was, but it was 20 something. Sorry. Okay, we've got one, two, three, no, five, we'll say five more things and then we're done. Thanks for holding on. Gotta save that one. Where'd I put the other thing I was saving? That's a set. Okay, I bought this because I don't, I didn't have it yet. And I was like, why don't I have it yet? And this is $15, so I'm buying it. So many Street Fighter games on one disc. And if I don't have it on the Switch, I imagine I'll get it on the Switch at some point, but I don't feel like I have to be in a hurry. But I was like, first of all, it's the US version of it. And uh, again, any Japanese game store, I get excited about that. And like $15, I don't think it's going to be much cheaper than that ever because it's so many games on this disc. So yay. I bought this because it was $3 and because I couldn't remember if I had it yet for the PS3 and it had a cool slip case. And I'm trying to show you that. Here we go. And I have not played this game yet. So, all right, now we're getting down to the to the end here. I already have this on the PS3, which I may, if I ever play it, it'll just be to compare because it's supposed to be horrible. Uh, I have it on the 360. I don't know if it's only downloaded or what version, but anyway, I have the ability to play it on the Xbox One X via, I can't talk. I can play this version on the Xbox One X. E. Uh, but it was $5. The reason I bought it was because attached to it, and I didn't realize it was sealed at the time, but it, it's, it's a sealed pre-order bonus uh, original soundtrack. The Gates of Hell, Fine Cocktails and Spirits. That's pretty awesome. That kind of stuff is exciting to me, and it was just like stuck on there like this. 
you know, and I, I, yeah, and I bought it because of course I bought it. So then I have two more games and then a system and we're Denzies. And I don't, I don't know if there's anything else I need to talk about, but I don't, I'm sorry I didn't say anything clever this whole time. Maybe I should have kept the wife beater on after all, because then it would have been something different at least. Uh, oh wait, no, not saying something clever the whole time. Yeah. So this is something that I paid $4, I think, for, but I was really excited about it um, because I'm not like going nuts about it. But I, I think I need three or four shoot 'em ups for the Sega Saturn to have all of them, all the ones that I consider the ones that I want to get, like the or shoot 'em ups. But I didn't know about this, and technically one wouldn't need this to complete the set, but it would bother me if I knew that it existed and I didn't have it. This is uh, Flash Volume Four Sega Saturn demo disc, and. You can probably guess what that first one is because it says Deluxe Pack, but it's the Gradius or Gradius Deluxe Pack. It also has a soccer game, victory goal, fishing game, fishing koshien, which is local to me. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's some kind of RPG. There's a Thor game and then uh, there's Irem Arcade Classics. So that's another one that's pretty cool. Um, but I'm guessing you get to play like one level of Salamander or Gra I'm not some Gradius or I don't know. I'll pop it in and find out. But it comes in this little sleeve. It folds out like that. And I'm guessing that they added this disc case, which I appreciate that. But you know, this kind of stuff that wasn't for sale is neat. I showed the uh, Xbox One earlier. I enjoy these kinds of things. And that will go in my shelf of Shimup for the Saturn, and it will live there proudly and happily. I have another similar, I think it's a different kind of, um, I don't know, series of demo discs, but I have another demo disc that has Bomb Saturn Bomberman, I think, on it. And I was playing that, and I had a great time. I was like, this is a, the demo disc. These are great. I really miss demo discs. Those are the, those are the shit. So, last game and most expensive game. And it was, I think it was like $80, and I was like, oh. And so I, anyway, I grabbed it, and then I looked at my list, and I'm pretty sure that I don't have this. I'm gonna be pretty annoyed at myself. I'll be fine, but I'll be a little annoyed at myself if I discover that I bought it and I haven't marked it off my list yet. Because I have the basically same game for the PS, the PlayStation, PS1. And I never see for some reason the Saturn one, or maybe when I do it's expensive, but I talked them down on the price quite a lot because there was a little crack in the case, easy to fix, you just change the cover. And there was a tiny little like scratch on the disc and I'm like, eh, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I mentioned it because it didn't say anything about that. And he took like 20% off or 15% something. And did I say it started at $80? I don't know, that's probably not right. I, pay, I think I paid 55 in the end. So I don't know, I think that's a good deal for this game, but it's not a like barn burner thing, but it's like not bad. And this is, sorry, I just showed it to you and didn't say it's Dokura. Bokanto Ipatsu Dorombo Kampekiban. And this is a pretty fun little shoot 'em up. It's pretty crazy. And I would like to show you when you open the game, you are greeted. Here's, this is the Obi or the spy card. It's a little sun faded, but oh well. You are greeted with this. And this would make a great thumbnail. I might even try to make this my thumbnail because uh, girl power. <sighs> Yay. Uh, I really want to play that right now, and, like, I don't know about the Polymega. I know it's just emulation, but if that thing releases and it just plays all the disc-based systems right out of the box, I'm still a little tempted to get one, but I don't know what the price is, and I know I can just do it with my computer, and I have a really nice computer, so I should just do it with my computer again. <laughs> I think I just stopped myself out of it, but, mm, I don't know. So that's all the stuff, and then there was a system that I bought, and I think... I don't know how much these go for, I have no idea. But I have a weakness for this kind of system. This is like my third or fourth. I don't even know. I need to get them all together, have a party. Zelda Limited Edition 3DS. So, and I actually did a case. Did I do the case swap? I haven't done it yet. I have a case, which is fake from China, whatever, to uh, do a case swap for a 
Game Boy Advance SP. I, I think I just haven't done it yet, but that doesn't really count. This is the real deal. And the console is minty, minty fresh. I mean, almost perfect, not quite, but it's really nice. And everything inside is like the person knew that they had something special and I think they were afraid to play it, so they ended up just selling it back to the game store, kind of, oh, seriously. This is what I have to deal with every day and every night. He doesn't care what time it is. Yeah, dude, I understand. See ya. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so, um, and I talked him down on the price on this one a bit too. And then what was really cool is I was doing all this wheeling and dealing and trying to get the prices down and talking to the guy. And he's like, oh, I haven't seen you for a while. And I was like, oh, yeah, got no money. He's like, yeah, I can't believe that because, yeah. <laughs> anyway, after all this, he's like, he, he pointed out one of the super cheap ones, like a, whatever. And he's like, oh, and I have to tell you, I'm sorry, this, this one is not part of the 10% off sale. And I was like, wait, 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 what 10% off sale? He's like, oh, you didn't know? All the, everything's 10% off. <laughs> So then I went look for more stuff. But anyway, this is all I got. Just this. Um, I guess I can show you this. This um, Zelda limited edition, whatever, special, I should say special edition, original 3DS is actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. I'm pretty sure I don't have one of these. That's what it's like in my life, right? I'm pretty sure I don't have that game. Uh, um, I still want the purple one, but I, I can live without it. You know, it's okay. I've almost bought it a few times. One of these days, my prince will come. So, I'll try to get you a, a good look. The gold accents are very tastefully done on this one. I feel like a lot of this, a lot, some of the Zelda ones are a little bit over the top with the gold. I feel like this one is a nice balance. And the bottom isn't black, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like, gold over black or I don't know what you maybe it's just gray silver but I, I like the color contrast and just little little accents that they do and then when you open it up it's not too much but there are little things you can see like gold painted up here and there and like the 3d switch is gold and it's oh no you can see in the ah oh, well now I'm gonna have to check and see if I have to edit any of that out hopefully it's okay very reflecty you are very ref you are too reflecty anyway so <laughs> that's going to be a pain in my butt. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I'm boring. Um, but I wanted to put up a video because I haven't for a while. Like, not one like this, anyway. And this tastes like, tastes? It tastes like, I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like double she quasa. Takes the least amount of creative energy on my part because I'm just doing show and tell and talking about stuff. But I hope everyone's doing well. Happy whatever holidays you've had recently. Uh, enjoy your life. Tell someone you love them. Give them a hug. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Like, really? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll end with this. So I said that my friends came. And uh, they hadn't said anything. Like, they know about my channel. And I don't think they watch it. And I'm very happy about that. I don't want them to. Like, I don't tell people about this channel because I figure if people find it organically because it's something that they'd be interested in, they can at least sort of understand my broken brain. But, like, I have a lot of friends who aren't into video games and they're not collectors. And that's, like, two, two strikes, you know? People who are collectors and people who are really into video games at age 43. It's kind of like, now you take those two things and put them together and it's, like, super doofus. And I, I, that's fine if people think that, but I don't need to deal with it. Like, I don't... If, I, if it's not something that needs to come up, then why bring it up, I guess is what I'm saying. And I'm not, like, so eager to add a couple more stuff. I just, I just don't care. So, anyway. What am I saying? Oh, I didn't think that they would try to get a tour of the house, or because I didn't really get a proper one of theirs, to be fair, when I visited them. But they were quite insistent. It was three against one, and they're, like, some of my best friends in the world. So I was like, okay. So I hadn't cleaned the game room, and... Actually, I've been getting Emma's room ready, which is going to be like her two-year birthday present. She gets her own dang room in this house. Hello. She has her own, like, balcony and... Wow. Anyway, she's got a great room. Uh, 
So there are piles of stuff, because I mean, there always are, but it's worse than usual because I was, you know, moving stuff for that. And I didn't do anything because I didn't think they were going to need to see it. Plus, if they want to see it, they can basically see it on YouTube. But no, not only were they insistent that they need to go in and see it in its actual glory. And I mean, the reactions were fitting, you know, fine. But I didn't open, to, like, there was a lot more that they didn't see even then. Whatever. Uh, but one of them went in with his phone and he's like, here's the gamer. And he was everywhere. And I'm like, ah, why do you need to do that? You know, because it's, it's not like something I'm necessarily proud of. Like, I take pride in it personally because I spent a lot of time, obviously money, researching and, you know, collating stuff. And I have a lot of stuff that probably I shouldn't say I collated. I just collected it. And I enjoy being there and, you know, the history of it and stuff like that. But at the same time, lately I've been thinking, I'm not sure this is a legacy that I necessarily want my daughter to take over. You know what I mean? Like, if she's into it, fine. I'm not going to discourage that. But if I had to choose, I'd much rather have her grow up around books than around video games. And that's one reason that I'm so happy that so many of my books came over the ocean or whatever. And I'm happy for balance, like for there to be both. But a lot of things, I don't know, I think about things a lot differently now that I'm a father. And that's kind of, of course, right? Anyway, so then I was like, oh, why? He's like, no, I just want to show it to my wife. And I'm like, oh, I see. So when you're, when she's mad at you because you bought something, whatever, you can be like, yeah, but at least you don't have to deal with this. And he's like, no, 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 I have no idea why. Just because it's a, a thing that they talk about, maybe. But uh, a few days later, after they've gone back home, it's in our, like, our chat on Facebook Messenger. And he's like, oh, I want you guys to hurry up and upload all your photos and videos so that I can show them in the slideshow party or Japan trip presentation or something. Like, there's going to be a bunch of people. We're talking, like, a lot, a lot of people. I don't know, like 100 or 50 or 20. It's some number that's more than five. A lot. And, I'm, and I just wrote, do not show my game room in your picture video party. That's all I wrote. And then one of my friends is like, the game room must be shown. And that's how he talks. So, And I'm just like, okay, it's out of my hands. So I just didn't say anything else. <laughs> I mean, I am kind of proud of it, but I'm also, there's a little part of me that's kind of a little tiny bit maybe ashamed of it because it's like, or, right? But it's kept me out of trouble probably a lot more than it's gotten me into trouble. And I hope that it stays that way because, you know, trouble's not good, except when it is. You can quote me on that. Okay, thanks again for watching. Please don't unsubscribe. Love you, bye. Been looking at the wrong place the whole time, as usual. Just like my daughter, I'm a narcissist, or rather she is, like me, a narcissist. She has a photo of herself that she likes to look at. <laughs> it's like a Christmas card that we had left over. She should have been looking there the whole time. Why didn't you tell me? <sighs> Maybe next time. Anyway, I'm going to turn the fan on now. Love you and you. So when I say that, I'm talking to my... Go away. <laughs>